everybody, it's Dolls of the Caribbean, and I am here today to show you guys my new dollhouse I got. I know I've posted about it on Facebook and Instagram, but I have made a few changes to it, and I figured a dollhouse tour was in order, so without further ado, let's get to it! On the first floor, I have Samantha's bedroom with her desk, some uh, flowers right here. It was part of her... Let's see if we can get this to focus. It's like some pressed flowers inside. A little clock that I got in one of the My Life assets. I believe it was a breakfast set. I have a bag down here with a few of her things inside, such as a pillow that says, I pine for you. A magnifying glass. And uh, a Christmas music box that when you turn it, And I have a few other things underneath her desk, such as her mother's sketchbook, which has pictures such as this one and, uh, where's the other one? Yeah, that one. Other than that, I have her mother's paint set, which again came out in uh, with Pleasant Company. I got the Samantha doll for my cousin. So it's got some really nice stuff in there that I thought would be an adorable addition to her room. Her room is rather small, but I don't exactly have a ton of space, so yeah, I made the best with what I had, and I'm really happy with it. Moving on to the right, I have Ruthie and Kit's room. I have a small bed for them. It's a My Life As bed. I eventually am going to get bunk beds. But I don't have the money for that right now, so I'm kind of crushing them into one bed. You might notice Ruthie is in Nellie's welcome outfit. The reason for that is I am working on my stop motion movie, which I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek into later. It'll be coming out next summer, and I'm going to be telling you guys all about that. So in the background, we have some of Leah's images of the toucan, turtle, and sloth. We also have some turtles, a camera, and a book on sea turtles because Ruthie loves the ocean. I also have a nice little pom-pom heart rug. Very soft and comfy. This is Molly and Emily's room. I know I had a welcome Molly video, which was a lot of fun to film, but now I'm going to be kind of showing you around their room. Underneath Molly's leg is a backpack with a laptop that opens which you can see in my intro video and a water bottle because hydration is important y'all I'll put that on the back of their bed and in the way back you can see a kind of drawer compartment thing and in this top one we have a red book it's not really a book it doesn't open but it was an absolutely adorable addition to the set we have a yellow book in the pink one. Up here we have a little plant. And over there we have a light that really works. And that's really cute. In the background we have Sage's painting and that she gave to Emily. All right, and right next to them, surprise, surprise, is Sage and McKenna's room. Now, underneath their bed, is Sage's easel and a few of her paintings. And yeah, she likes to keep it there so she can use it if she wants, but it's a small room, again, so she can't use it too, too often. Up here, we have a little phone charging station and a cute little phone that came with this dresser set. Um, I don't have anything in the drawers yet because I like to organize my doll's clothing by doll. And I'm bringing Sage, McKenna, Molly, and Emily to college with me in a week. So you'll get to see them in my college videos and just as in the past I'm gonna have some special guests and I'm really excited for that. So you will see everything from this entire floor at college with me. And yeah. Over here, I have the My Life Fast kitchen set, which I absolutely love. It is so adorable. I know 
the dishwasher opens and that's where I store a lot of food for them just because it doesn't it's an easy place to store everything if that wants to shut there's also an oven which I don't have anything in right now these open up oh yeah got a few cups that used to be in there I'll put them in in a sec the microwave also opens and it's very 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 it's a nice touch the fridge opens and I can put things inside it's really nice back here I have a chair that I got at Goodwill um, it fits the dolls the dolls can like fit in it not too comfortably though but eventually I'll have a real table for the kitchen but right now I just don't have it in the budget so over here will eventually be where the boys bedroom will be I'm I have a trundle bed in mind that I'm gonna get on Amazon as soon as I have the money but again I'm a college student so as soon as I have the money I'll have that and I don't know, maybe I'll film an updated house video and I'll have more cool stuff to show y'all. Over here is the living room where I currently have all the boys. Over here I have some movies that my aunt and I made a few years back when I was with her. Thanks Aunt Elle, I love you. They're always going to be there until I get some kind of shelf for them. Up here I have a light that really works. You can't really see it because it's so bright. That's technically where you can put a phone for a television, but I don't know. Eventually I'll get a television-like thing. I also have another pom-pom rug right here. It's, it's a nice touch. You'll notice that each of the boys has an Xbox controller because, I don't know, my brothers play Xbox. I have the My Life As Living Room set, which I really, really like. It's... Most of the stuff in here is from it. The only things that aren't are the movies and the rug. Alright, and if we move over, we'll see Luciana's room. And again, you'll see Luciana in a very uncharacteristic outfit, which she will wear in my movie, which again, we'll get to later. In the back, I have the My Life As Science Desk set, which I think will not fit Lucy really well since it's very space-themed. There's a computer with some space facts. I have Orion and a little robot, which we have conveniently named Rover. Roven, the Rover. His name is Roven. Um, a star rug, which I felt was fitting, and a My Life As single bed, since it's just her room and she doesn't have to share. All right, I promise you all details on my stop motion movie coming out next summer, The Lost Prince. As much as I would like to tell you everything, that would kind of defeat the purpose of a reveal. But I will give you the release date. The release date is July 17th, 2020. Yes, I'm aware that's just over six months away and I'm super excited to show all of you. I know this week I'm going to be doing a lot of the stop motion and in the next few months I'm going to be composing part of the score for it, which I'm super excited for. I am a music minor in college, so I have a lot of my friends helping me. They're going to be playing what I compose and I'm going to be recording it with a new microphone I got. I have a blue snowball ice microphone, I think it's called. I'll leave a link in the description. <laughs> And the other thing I'd like to put a link to in the description is the music I'm going to be using for the remainder of the stop motion. Because as much as I would love to compose the entire score, that would be a huge project and that would be a lot to expect from those who are helping me by playing. So I'm going to be using audio blocks, music, recordings for the remainder and that is what I use for most of my for well really all of my stop motion 
It's an absolutely fantastic site. I recommend it to you like 12 out of 10. It's absolutely incredible. I love all of the music I find there whenever anyone's like, your music, I'm like, audio blocks. So it's definitely a fantastic site. I would highly recommend that you check it out. It will be below my video. And yeah, I'm fully aware that this is the longest video I've put up on my channel. So you are more patient than I if you have watched this long. So thank you all so much for your support. It means the absolute world to me. So yeah, I'll be posting more regularly on my YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. That's something that's a huge goal for me because while I was home, I kind of relaxed. I know, crazy, but I got out of, I forgot my schedule. So I'm going to be posting more regularly. That's definitely one of my goals for the new year. And yeah, thank you all so, so so much for all of your support. It means the absolute world to me. All right, everyone. Bye.